This is Code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Well, we're investigating and modifying. Run the program to observe. Okay. Click a poo. Connecting. Compiling. Ooh. Enter a score. Hmm. Uh, we're going to be a star student. 99. Why did I not choose 100? Uh, enter another. Okay. 55. It was a rough day. 78. Uh, 89. I don't know. 100. You know what's the best as a teacher? Hundreds, because they're so easy to grade when you guys get everything right. You guys should do that more. Uh, not that you don't do that a lot. I mean, a lot of you do it a lot. I should stop talking. Is this ever going to end? What the? Why is 15 not a valid score? It was a rough day for them. Why are you judging me? Uh. Okay. I don't think it ends, guys. Make mm, it one. Okay, goodbye. Great. All right. Uh, then experiment... By making the following modifications, change one line at a time, run the program after OK, enter different values, and observe the results. For example, what happens when you enter 90? What about 40? What about negative 1? OK, let's throw in a 90. 90. What about 40? It tells me it's not valid, but that student was having a rough day, and I think this program's judgmental. Negative 1. OK, got it. So invalid, 90 work, negative 1 quit. In course.java, right up there. Change the and and or and operator in the is invalid score method, line 45. Ooh, 45. Is invalid score method. Change the and and to an or 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 just change the and to an or. All right. Run the program and enter different values to observe the results. How are these results different? Ah, so we're changing and to an or. And I want to conceptually talk about this for a moment, guys. So and, think about what and means. If, you know, my friend and I go to a movie, and means, shockingly, both of us, right? If my friend or myself go to a movie, well, that would just mean one of us would end up going. So the difference there is pretty stark. It is either it has to be both or it has to be one of those. Now, if I'm changing AND to an OR, it's the same thing in code. Now, score can either be greater than or equal to 50, or, or it is also allowed to be less than or equal to 100. Meaning, if either of these are true, our IF statement should result into a valid uh, result, and it will then result that would be equal to true. However, if both of these are false, it's false. The difference is AND means both of these items would have to be true for this to occur. AND means both. So let's give this a shot. Uh, let's do 90, 40. Ah, 40 worked, and negative 1. All right. In course.java, try changing the condition is valid method on 45 to if, ooh, they want us to negate it. So what I'm going to do here is put a parenthesis here, the explanation point, which means not, right? It's like taking something back. Oh, wait, am I doing it wrong? Yes, I am. I don't want it there, though. I want it around the first uh, condition we're evaluating, which is score is greater than 50. And then they want me to flip this to an and. So now what does this say? If score is not greater than or equal to 49, uh, 50. So if score is not greater than or equal to 50 and score is less than or equal to 100. Ah, so this will never be true because if score is not greater than 50, but it is. Oh, and it's less. No, now we have to be. We have to be only one to uh, 50 should result in true. Let's see. Invalid. 50, invalid. 40 will be valid, and negative 1 will still work. Cool. So these are important distinctions, and they can get pretty tricky. So experimenting with them is important. Anyways, onward.